This short video will show you very quickly how to create groups in your Blackboard course shell and also how to create discussions that are specific to each group. Now, the first thing to know is that students are going to need to know how to get to their groups and you are going to need to have the group tool made available to them. To do that, click the little plus sign above your menu. Then select from the drop down tool link. Type in the word groups. Then from the drop down, be sure to select the type groups and click available to users. Then click submit. Notice that the button goes down to the bottom of the menu where students may not see it. So be sure to mouse over the left side of the button, left click and drag it up. I'm going to put it below the discussions button. If I click on groups, now I can create my groups. In the interests of efficiency, the easiest way to do this is to click Create and then from Group Set, select Manual Enroll. Using this option is going to give you a little bit of assistance in setting up your groups. So I'm going to begin by calling the Group Set Group Discussion just that. You can put in a description about what your students are going to be talking about or doing in the group information description area here if you want to. You do want to leave the group visible to students. Now in the interests of efficiency I'm not going to go into the details of what's being recommended here but I would suggest that you deselect everything except discussions for right now. Anything that's available here. The only thing that I would suggest that you change here in addition to that is do not allow student group members to create forums. If you allow students to create forums, it can become a big mess really quick. Scroll down. Now, decide how many groups you want. Let's say for this example I wanted three groups. If you want, you can create a smart view for each group in the set. That will give you a separate link in Grade Center so that you can easily check each one then just click Submit. Notice what Blackboard did. It created three group discussions and it gave them separate names by number. I told it I wanted three. It gave me three different ones. Now you're ready to manually add users into each of the groups. Now you could do randomized enrollments if you wanted to. I'm going to just show you how to add users individually. Let's say in Group 1 I click Add Users and I want to add these two people. I just put the checkbox next to them and click Submit and now those two people are in that group. Now I'm going to add another two people in the second group. I'll add these two people in the second group and I'll add this last person in the third group. Now I've populated my groups. If you want to delete a user obviously just click the little red X over to the right. Now click Submit you have your three groups ready. Now it's time to see how the students would see this. Now I happen to know that my student preview user is enrolled in group discussion too, so I'm going to go to student preview. By the way, as an instructor, this is a great way to see exactly what your students are seeing in Blackboard. I click the student preview button and now as a student I would see the groups button. Notice that I only see group discussion 2. I click on group discussion 2, I click on discussion board and now I can actually open this up and create my first thread. So here's the first thread in the group by the student. Once I've typed in whatever it is I want to share with my fellow students I click submit. Now, as I was testing this, I found that in my preview student mode, when I clicked on groups and I wanted to read the threads, I had to click on the group discussion board, click open, and then select tree view. Then I was able to see everybody's posts. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the student preview and then I'm going to look at it as an instructor. So I click exit preview. Now because I want to save the testing 
threads that my students put in here, I'm going to click Keep the Preview User in All Data so I can view it when I go back to my faculty view. Now I'm back in here as an instructor. If I click Groups and I want to see what has been posted, I could click on Group to Discussion, group discussion Board and I could read the unread posts by simply clicking that button and now I can see all of the posts by each of the students in each of the groups. So that's the way you as an instructor can keep tabs on what they're talking about. I hope this video has been helpful. Check with your local ed tech director if you have any additional questions.